Hi, I'm Teresa Tidwell-Smith with Meaningful Escapes, and I am in the studio with Jay Haleen. What's up you guys, your boy Jay Halim and I'm back in the studio. If you ever looked on my website, maybe not right this second, but um, maybe like two weeks later, two weeks ago, up until the beginning of this year, you saw this lovely young lady on the, the front page of my website. I mean, you know, she was the lead headshot on my website for almost a year now. Oh wow. Wow. So um, Miss Teresa Tidwell Smith is back in here in the studio not um, she's never been interviewed by me but we did a lot of work together and um i'm just excited to have you here well, thank, thank you. you for giving me a couple minutes of your time thank you for having me and you finally got your feet back on the ground and everything like that you're not traveling all over the world yes. <laughs> so you know uh, she runs this amazing amazing company called meaningful escapes and I'm not going to tell you about it because I think you'll be have a lot better time getting it from her so tell everybody a little bit about your company well, Meaningful Escapes is a full-service travel agency. We take pride in um, cuddling our customers. We like to make sure that everything is planned well, um, and they are looking forward to a, an awesome experience. Not just to travel and vacation, but the experience. Uh, you know, I just was, I told you before off camera that I have a good friend who I referred to you. Yes. <laughs> and he was losing his mind. <laughs> oh, Miss Teresa did she? Uh, man, oh, she's just so amazing. I had such a great time, and this was his first time traveling mm -hmm. abroad. So, you know, what does that do for you when you get those type of testimonies? Oh wow, that that is what I work for. That is that makes me um, beam. Um, it makes me know that I am doing what I set out to do, yeah. to make travel comfortable, safe, as you know, to my clients' yeah. um, ability. But it is it, that that makes me feel really good. You know, um, people don't know that you used to be a um, flight attendant. Yes. So, tell us how that helped you and prepared you to start this business. Well, um, actually, with travel in your blood, it's, it, it never gets out. <laughs> I was a flight attendant for U.S. Airways for 21 and a half years. And during that time, um, I always wanted to make travel easier um, and more attainable um, to people. Um, and it just rolled into, once I retired, um, that was one of the first things I wanted to do, get back into travel <laughs> in some way. So on the other side yeah. of it, developing my business, um, it started up doing a group, a women's group yeah. uh, retreats, yeah. so to speak, um, and just getting them uh, excited about travel yeah. and getting out of the states. <laughs> you know, the Caribbean, you know, yeah. was a big draw at the time. So just getting them out of their comfort zone. Yeah. Um, we don't realize how much we grow when we're out of our comfort mm -hmm. zones, um, your creativity takes leaps and bounds. Um, your your body adapt to different environments, yeah. um, and it, it's so good for you. It's healthy for you. Yeah. Um, but that's you know that was my role in into the other side of travel. Yeah. <laughs> so. You know the funny thing is um, you going everywhere working. You know mm -hmm. some people have the adverse reaction is. I don't want to get back on another plane. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, what was one place that you went to when you were working that you were, that that kind of took it over the top for you? Oh gosh, London. Okay. Uh, London was um, an awesome, awesome uh, is an awesome city, and um, loved going there, um, working and on my off time as well. Mm -hmm. I ended up doing a. Um, a co-chair with under British Airways oh, so okay. I trained under British Airways to bring a service oh, wow. back 
to U.S. Airways okay. employees, our flight attendants, to train them on the first class service. Okay. So I was in London for about two months. Okay. So that That'd is, do it. yeah, <laughs> I wanted to move, actually. Wow. <laughs> My husband wasn't going for it at the time, so. I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> You know, um, now meaningful escapes. Most people have. I'm so and so travel LLC. Um, this travel, that travel. Meaningful escapes. That took some thought. What came yes. behind that? Yes. Um, well, it was um, an, uh, a process. Mm -hmm. um, initially, uh, my company was named something else. Um, but through the process of learning the type of travel that I wanted to present to my clients, yeah. um, Meaningful Escapes came about and um, it, it it's right there. I want your trip to be meaningful. Yeah. I don't, you know, you can go online and book a vacation, but I am selling you a meaningful escape. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about the experience. Yeah. I tell my clients that all the time, and I meet. I try to meet personally with my clients yeah. before we book anything. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, um, what is your ideal client? Wow, my ideal client is. Um, it could be an individual or a couple. Um, someone that's willing to trust me. Mm -hmm with their vacation, yeah. with their experience. Um, I'm going to put in it, I'm going to build it like I would travel. Okay. I'm going to design it the way I would travel. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to put you in a, a hotel or mm -hmm. at a resort that I would not yeah. go to myself. Um, but my ideal client, well, yeah, someone that would trust me with their plans okay. and give me the hands off, like hands let me, off. Yeah, go yes, ahead and just let take me care design of it. it and present it to you, <laughs> and then we can go through it step by step. So you're yeah. more so like a travel architect as well, huh? You, yes, good one. <laughs> you know, you want to build that experience from top to bottom yes. for someone. Yes, and, and that's that. That sounds great. I mean, you know. One thing, I've, and this is me talking offline with you, know that you are very, very passionate about getting women yes. to travel. And sometimes it's not just together, but travel alone. Mm -hmm. How did you come to that? Um, well, through my um, flight attendant years, a lot of times I was alone on my trips. Uh, we had trips that you can be an extra. So you had your own um, schedule. Okay. You would you know of course it'd be with a uh, crew for a portion of the time and then you would go on oh, your okay. own on your own layover so oh, okay. i had that time to really um dive into different cities and yeah. cultures on my own okay. and i really liked that i enjoyed it because i didn't have anyone saying well let's meet here and let's meet mm -hmm. there so you don't have to juggle with your time yeah. you can actually i love i love museums and art okay. um, galleries so that gave me an opportunity to kind of walk through a city on my own okay. and just enjoy what i wanted yeah. to enjoy i understand but yeah solo travel is a big um it's a part of my brand that i'm very proud of yeah. i've got and a few ladies to travel mm -hmm. on their own and they've enjoyed it so and unexpectedly enjoyed it okay because they were very afraid at the time you know they're like oh what am I gonna do this the time mm -hmm. I said no but I, I designed the trip to where when they check into the hotel mm -hmm. or the resort they know the people know that they're coming mm -hmm. so they're called by their name wow. so Mrs. so-and-so here okay here, you know, this is your key. This is the, the driver will be here to take you to the next destination. Wow. So we, I plan it to. Yeah. They're alone, but not alone. Yeah. So what does the husband say? <laughs> <laughs> now that I don't get into. <laughs> I gotta go next. No, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> Don't take yeah, his call, yeah. Mr. Reason when he call. <laughs> he call. Don't take his call. I have done um, <laughs> some male trips as well, um, and um, same thing. They it, and normally the guys are ready. They're um, yeah. more <laughs> apt to. I gotta know. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> But, it's not our fault. I'm sorry. You guys, are, ladies, you're not driving us that crazy. It's just, no, it's just but everybody needs their downtime and, and a time right. to disconnect. You're right. you're right. You're right. And that's what I was going to ask. Um, was it a therapeutic situation for the, for the ladies? Because, I mean, a lot of ladies don't want to leave their home, you know, without 
especially the kids or their husband or what everything that they hold dear. Yes. So um, yes. convincing them to get out on their own mm -hmm. <laughs> could possibly be a, a tall and, task. Yeah, sometimes um, with ladies, I have to take baby steps mm -hmm. with them, like just check into a hotel on your own wow. in, in your city. Yeah. Because um, not all my clients are in Columbia, so they may be in New York, they may be in Philadelphia, but mm -hmm. just take that time because that is a, it's a scary thing when yeah. you have never traveled um, alone. So I just encourage them to take baby steps. Sometimes it's a six month plan. Yeah, wow. And um, they will check into a hotel, stay overnight, um, you know, watch what they want to watch, <laughs> get room service, yeah, you know. Yeah. No, and, no um, stress, nobody aggravating, no yes, babies calling you. Yes, <laughs> and like I, that. one rule do not call home. Okay. Call home mm -hmm. when you first get there, and then that's it. And when you're on your way out. See, and I was about to ask you a question, but I, I just heard it. But I, I'm, I'm going to still ask the question. This is the answer. No, because, I, you know, nowadays you have, you know, you have online. Of course, you can book your own, own, the, your own flights and your hotels. But you also have, like, these MLMs, the multi-level marketing companies that's mm -hmm. doing travel and things like that. What sets you apart from those type of companies? Um, well, normally with those type of companies, the multi-marketing, they're not really travel agents mm -hmm. or travel experts. Mm -hmm. They are more driven on building their group yeah, or their the team. Or, and, yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, I researched all that before I um, decided to do my business and it just was not for me at all. Yeah, I understand. Um, <laughs> I, I'm more hands on. And you've done a lot of the things yes, that they, they I dream just, about. Doing, so. <laughs> I did. It just did not fit my profile of what I wanted to present. The funny thing is, you answered my question when before I asked it for me. But when you said that you talk to these people, you tell them don't call home. You do all these things. Mm -hmm. You nobody's gonna give you that. You know, <laughs> nobody's gonna give like did you like the psychiatrist as well as the architect as well as travel agent everything because you you have to actually have a consultation. Yes. Listen to their fears mm -hmm. and concerns. Try yes. to cure that. So you got to put them on the couch first, <laughs> <laughs> so to speak. Yeah, yes. and you know, so that is that is very very in depth. You know, mm -hmm. that's just not get online. Okay, you booked. Figure it out when you get there. Yeah, type of thing. You, you, you know, you're literally I, yeah. getting them all the way through the trip and back home. Yes. That that's amazing. You know. Um, I just gave you a testimonial, but what is one that sticks out to you that you've had over the years? Oh, wow. Um, Hanif is up there, though. <laughs> He's up there. Um, oh, gosh. I um, Actually, another guy. Um, I planned a um, ski excursion for him. Okay. And um, same thing. I made sure he was met. Mm -hmm. He had cars lined up to pick him up at different destinations because his ski trip um, actually took place in two different cities. Oh, okay. So, um, in Canada. Wow. So he wanted to kind of hop around to the, the uh, bigger slopes yeah. and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So, um, so, I mean, he was just ecstatic. I mean, he called me when he got back. He was like, I had the best time. Thank you so much. Everybody knew who I was. Wow. I felt so important. <laughs> that, that's what I wanted him yeah. to experience. Yeah. Um, and he had traveled on his own before, okay. but not with a travel agent. Yeah, see? Or a travel expert. Travel expert. I like the <laughs> expert part better. So we're going to put, we got to tag that travel expert, put yes. it all over everywhere. <laughs> Let your, uh, your people know that work your social media. I'm not going to charge them for that. <laughs> Tag that. Make sure she have all that stuff going. But please leave everybody with just one thing about travel. One thing that you would, one nugget you would give somebody about travel and the importance of traveling. If you are wanting to level up, take a trip. Come to us. Let us put a trip together for you so you can experience um, life-changing moments. Um, those are very, very important. Um, but that's what I would leave you with. If you are ready to level up in your personal life, business life, let us plan a trip for you. Hey, listen, I just told you a good friend of mine, I referred her to him, and he's still, every time I mention her, I know when he sees this video, he's going to lose it. He loves her. 
And, you know, he took a, a big chance on taking his wife away for her 40th birthday out of the country, never been out of the country. Mm -hmm. And he entrusted her with the whole process and he can't stop talking about it <laughs> right now. So if you, didn't, if, if you didn't hear anything more than that, then, you know, you're not listening hard enough. But, you know, um, I try to keep it exclusive as possible. I try to keep people around that I like and I work with as well, not someone who just come out of the blue. But I really, really wanted to showcase you with my audience. Thank and I really so appreciate you um, coming in here. Let everybody know how to find your um, company, your website, social media, and everything like that. Website, MeaningfulEscapes.com. Um, you can reach me at email, MeaningfulEscapes uh, at gmail.com. Um, 803-603-5216. That's my personal cell phone. I answer and um, be I am looking forward to talking with you. Call her when you're ready to level up. That's what I like that one yes. too. Yes. Hashtag level up. If you're not just taking a ride for two hours, get on a flight somewhere. She'll make sure she get you a good price and uh, you know, come back and tell us how it was. But you know, it's your boy Jay Halim. Again, we in the studio. Teresa Tidwell-Smith. See you guys next time.